Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. Okay, we've got something very special for you today. You like unboxing. You like James Bond. And I think you're enjoying the 60th anniversary of James Bond. Imagine bringing all of these together with a brand that we are very well acquainted with, and that is the London Sock Exchange. I said sock. I said sock, not stock. Yeah, the Sock Exchange, which has brought us so much joy and whimsy. What am I talking about? Well, they are the ones that have done an entire run of James Bond socks that have all been a little bit tongue-in-cheek, and, and we've worn them in the wild. That's crazy, I know. They're not artifacts and things that go on a shelf. They're things that you will actually wear on a daily basis. How do I know such things? Well, because I've worn them on a daily basis. These are the socks that I wear to work, to play, to date night. And yes, folks, ladies and gentlemen, I've even worn them on a bungee jump off of the Golden Eye Dam. These socks have gone places, and now they've gone to something new. And that is the 60th anniversary of James Bond, the London Sock Exchange run by Dan Zell, who is a huge Bond fan. I mean, bordering on Bond geek, which always helps with these kind of brand moments. They've created something very special that we could all grapple with. And it's here. Look at this. Look at this. London Socks Exchange. There is the proof, Your Honor. No, this is something that they worked with the entire Bond franchise to come up with. And they really thought long and hard about how do they pay due respect to 60, 60 years, six decades. Well, it's to come up with six brand new James Bond socks. See how they did that? See how they connected all the numbers together? And, and it's in here, and we haven't opened it up. You could still see it's sealed for your protection and mine, but we're going to get out our little Q branch knife. Very fancy, very schmancy. This has become our official unboxing knife of the James Bond franchise. No, it's not. Just, just of the Bond experience. Oh, how you go on, David. And we're doing this real time. You notice we don't edit these things. Why do people watch unboxing? We sometimes go from this from time to time. They want to know what is the experience that they may receive if they order such a thing. And these are, these are only available if you go to their website. So this is, this is what you would receive. All right. The box opens up and you're meted by Sir Sean Connery himself. Sean Connery, there he is. And this is what it says on the back here, folks. All right. No spoilers. This is what you know. James Bond has been on cinema screens around the world since Dr. No was released in 1962. I, th I think I knew that. All right, good news, good news. 60 years on, the magic of 007 remains, and we're thrilled to be marking six spectacular decades with six exceptional pairs of socks. They're going to love me for getting this sixth thing in there. Just remember, they're for your feet only. Don't put them on your hands or your nose or your ears, like some people have. No, this is for your feet only. And that's all I'm going to sing. All right, here we go. Oh, woo. All right, I'm, I'm glad I opened this very carefully because we've got a collector's box. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. You can see that we've got some nice embossed writing. 60 years of Bond, London Socks Exchange. And inside, oh, oh okay. This is what they meant by a Q branch effect. There are these little kind of D cutouts on the side. I think you could see them pretty well. Now watch what happens when I open this. All right. So not only are the socks appearing, but the movies are appearing as well. Hold on a second. I didn't know Doug Henning had entered the building. And if you know who Doug Henning is, you're my age. Welcome to it. Look at that. So it's got them in chronological order. Dr. No from Russia with Love. You know the drill. How cool is that? That's what they mean by a little Q branch moment. And this is why this box is a collector's box. These are to be worn on your feet. You heard the warning in the beginning. So I want you to wear these like I've worn these. But if you do collect these because, uh, you know, you have one to stock and one to rock, that means you put one on a shelf somewhere and one to wear, you could get two. You're going to have this action when you show people. They're going to be like, what, what's that box? Well, it's uh, something special from the lock exchange. It's a sock exchange and Q branch. All right. Now, I have a, a theory um, where one door opens or closes, and another one opens. Isn't that how the saying goes? So if I pull this up, uh, <laughs> as expected, look at this. And on the other side, 
you get the other Bond movies. Octopussy all the way to No Time to Die. That completes the series to date. But look at that. You can open either side and you get this Q branch. Well, I'm going to play with this all day. Danielle's going to call me down for dinner and say, I'm sorry, I'm playing with my London Sock Exchange box. But I love that they took the time to create an added function. But we're here to look at the socks. So, um, okay. Let's, let's dive right in. Okay, the first pair of socks we're going to take a look at are called the Jetpack. And listen, this one in particular, you can see by the design right here, we'll get nice and close. Here we go. <laughs> a lot of fun. Inspired by many tools, gadgets, and technologies, which have been issued to 007 by Q Branch from not so ordinary black leather case in From Russia with Love, all the way through to Qdar in No Time to Die. Our pick of Bond's gadgets arrived in Thunderball as Bond escapes from the roof of Spectre-infested Chateau. He deploys his special issue Bell Rocket to take to the skies and evade his adversaries once more. It's this iconic moment we pay homage to in the jetpack. And you can see on the back there, you've got your card that tells you some of the details and of course the image itself. It's almost got this kind of old-fashioned nostalgic gameplay going on here but i really like the color of the blue on this particular one our next socks you're going to notice the image right away and it's amazing how the nostalgia of a particular image connects with us this is a mix of epic mountain scenery dramatic snowy slopes it's the perfect conditions for 007 to take on his adversaries over the years, from Bond evading his would-be assassinations and assassins in the opening sequence of Spyro Love Me, to mistreating that Stradivarius as he careers down the mountain in the living daylights, to the thrilling chase of Hinks through the Austrian snow itself. But the pick of Bond's snow moments and the first time we see Bond take to the mountains has got to be on Her Majesty's Secret Service. As 007 escapes Blofeld's lair high atop the Swiss peak, his Gloria, he tackles everything from ski slopes to bobsleds and runs even into an avalanche, which is crazy, all the while sporting an immaculate, iconic royal blue ski suit in this iconic se sequence, which has inspired the off-piste. Now, what's nice about this is you've got your card, you've got your details, but I love that this, the background of the sock, this color of the sock has a lot to do with the connection to the image, which is, of course, a snowy white perfect. What do you see the pop of color on this pair of socks? The Undercover. In 60 years worth of missions, we've often seen 007 work in full stealth mode. From an assassination assignment in Bratislava, to infiltrating the Ice Palace Iceland in Die Another Day, to picking up the enemy's trails in the ruins of the former MI6 HQ in London, Inspector, Bond works best when he's lightly armed. We know that. Disguised under the darkness of a black Turtleneck, you know the image, <laughs> you know the gun, you know the holster. It's also how we see Bond in one of our favorite 007 sequences as he arrives on the Caribbean island of San Monique in Live and Let Die, armed only with his wits and Smith & Wesson Model 29, carried in a brown leather holster. It's this iconic moment which has inspired the undercover. Love this particular color sock. Who doesn't like this kind of red port wine sock i think that's what you would call it but it goes perfectly with that 1970s vintage roger moore look in his first outing again description on the back this thing reeks of nostalgia and by the way one of my favorite movies but listen maybe space is your action sure enough if you need a dark colored sock you can see this and by the way lots of space aspects and a very familiar image because from japan in the east to San Francisco in the west, to Iceland in the north, and Madagascar in the south and Casino Royale. Well, let's face it, for 60 years, we've watched 007 journey to the farthest 
far-flung corners of the globe as he doggedly undertakes his missions. But no journey, as you know, has taken James Bond anywhere more exotic than his destination in 1979's Moonraker, in which 007 ventures off the planet into the outer space for the first time. It's this groundbreaking, gravity-defying mission which we mark in the Moonraker. Here's a description on the back. This one is specifically made for Calvin Dyson. You know you want this. You know you're going to wear it. You may need a daring color. This is your stop. <laughs> the agent, 007, first appeared wearing the iconic ivory dinner jacket in the pre-credit sequence to Goldfinger. Since then, we've seen Bond sporting similar evening suits in tropical conditions around the world, from his first encounter with Plenty O'Toole in Diamonds Are Forever, to facing off against Kamel Khan and his Fabergé egg and octopusy, to riding the Oriental Desert Express across the North African Desert. It's been a timeless look for the world's most famous spy and has inspired this reissue of The Agent designed in an all-new sunset purple colorway. Yeah, these are daring socks. I could see wearing these with chinos and jeans and all types of things. But look at this image. You've got the card description on the back. But let's get nice and close. I mean, people, look at that. Even the carnation. Talk about detail. you got to love it. And last, but certainly not least, you've got the double O. Look at that. Nice, dark, navy. Uh, this could go with everything. This is going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to for, forecast it right now. Let's pull this down a little bit so you can see the image. I'm going to say that this is going to be your go-to sock to wear with probably 90% of your things. I would wear this even with a suit. Yes, I would. For the last 60 years, we've seen every incarnation of James Bond appear in a dinner jacket. It's how the world met 007 in Dr. No, right? So the outfit has been a signature look across generations since. Of course, they had to make it part of the 60th anniversary tribute. And by way of tribute, they've reissued the 00 design in an all-new midnight navy colorway. You've got the description on the back. But folks, this is the one, as I'm thinking about my travels and events, this is the one that's going to see some serious mileage. Don't excuse the pun. Okay, so that's each of the socks that you're going to get in the box. Socks in the box. It's almost Dr. Seuss, but I kind of blew it. But you need to know something about these socks because you could look at them, you could see the details, and you could say, these are great kind of kitschy, fun little... Mo no, these are practical. These are high-end socks. How do I know? Because they have a London Sock Exchange patented process. It uses 200 fine needles to actually sew the socks, which makes them finer, stronger, more durable. Just to give you an idea, some of the high street socks that you get from the fancy schmancy companies, they are 150 needles. So London Sock Exchange, by my math, has like 50 more to boot. Um, and then the cotton itself. So again, not made out of polyester or acrylic. These aren't schmaltzy socks. No, this is, and I'm, I'm going to read this so I get this right, because they went to a lot of trouble. It is triple certified sustainably sourced cotton melange yarns. And each one has a hand-linked toe for seamless comfort. No knobbly seams around the toe. So if you ever seen socks, for example, you get that kind of like you fold it inside out, you get that little ridge. This doesn't have it. It's literally a seamless toe. So it's comfort for you, but also it's not getting snagged. It just has a finer look to it. So you, you have that sort of connection itself. I'm digging that. Now, this is a one-off box. They're not going to be selling these separately, for example. So on the 29th, and this may be the 29th when this is premiering, could be, uh, you're going to be able to order these. I have mine. And also, if you see me in some of my adventures and events around the 60th anniversary of James Bond, come up to me and ask me if I'm wearing London Sock Exchange socks because I will, and you can see them. And I'm going to try to theme them with the different events that I have, because that's the fun of it. All right, we'll put the details down below. We want to thank them, obviously, for not just sending this and letting us review and unbox early, but for just creating this type of moment. I mean, there are some collectibles that are just, they're, they're difficult, even for, either from an investment standpoint or hunting them down. These are accessible. They're for everyone, young and old, and they connect to the Bond franchise the way we like it. 
which is just fun, whimsy, and frivolity. So thank you. In the meantime, this has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience, and we'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.